Abubakar Sadiq Muhammad is a Muslim cleric in northern Nigeria, where Islamist sect Boko Haram has launched hundreds of attacks since 2009. He runs a radio program from the capital city, Abuja, which is popular because of its boldness in the face of terror. He spends a lot of his time at the Al Nur Masjid, where he teaches and counsels other faithfuls. The responsibility we have as clerics, not just in Nigeria alone, but in the whole world, is to promote the best teachings of Islam the best possible way. Violence was never what the Prophet of Islam used to prop propagate the deen. Sadiq Muhammad says Islam is a religion that preaches mutual understanding and love. He hopes his message will counter the hatred of extremists. Other Muslim leaders have died after criticizing the insurgents for misinterpreting the doctrines of Islam. Most recently was um, someone in Zaria who was popularly known as Albani Zaria, um, a very strong critique as well. He was assassinated, and not just him, but himself with his wife and a young boy, about 12 years old or so, was in the vehicle when they were shot. So a lot of people have fear in this part of the, uh, this part of the world, Nigeria, and precisely the northern part of Nigeria. Due to the high level of poverty in many parts of northern Nigeria, Boko Haram has been able to lure young men to join the sect. In recent confessions, some of them revealed that they had been offered more than $3,000 to join the insurgency. Many of them did, However, not because of the cause, but because of the money. Tertiary institutions churn out 150,000 graduates each year, an army of unemployed. Sadiq Muhammad says it's this group, vulnerable to radicalization, that he and his colleagues at the center try to reach. We can't keep, uh, you know, sitting down and keeping quiet. We can't allow people take our religion and twist it and abuse it because today Islam is a word that is used, misused and abused. So we can't continue doing that. If we fear for our lives, um, then we should fear more for the damage being done to our religion and the wrong perception that a lot of people are having. It's another approach to healing the nation as Britain and France pledge to send experts to complement U.S. efforts to fight the insurgency. Adoria Chumba, Abuja.